What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I'm going to be showing you some new figure images. We don't have that many, but we do have a handful right here. So we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. As you know, as soon as some figure images are put up, I do like to show you guys so you guys can see them as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first figure we have, guys, is this Dean Ambrose, and this comes from my boy Tommy Slav on Instagram. He always gets the new images of new figures coming out very soon, so you definitely need to go follow him on Instagram if you have one, because he always posts the new figures. So uh, anyways, we have this Dean Ambrose, and apparently this is supposed to be upcoming Elite 63 Dean Ambrose, which is sort of disappointing, guys, because we've seen this head scan since Elite 48. We've seen this body from the Elite 36 Dean Ambrose, and it's literally just a new Dean Ambrose with the same molds and everything with a cloth hoodie. I do mind you, though, that this is a sick hoodie, okay? The, the black hoodie with the white D, DA on there, that looks absolutely beautiful. I think this is a great accessory. Maybe this is a sign of future, you know, cloth accessories, hoodies, and stuff like that instead of the regular old uh, molded in rubber. So uh, I, I am totally down for this. Even though the figure is sort of a disappointment, it is a very cool accessory that we're getting. Next up, guys, we do have the new Build-A-Figure, the put-together Build-A-Figure Shawn Michaels right here in the GM attire with the brown suit and tie with the cowboy hat. Pretty sweet figure. You know, I commented on this Build-A-Figure series about a week ago when I talked about the blue Finn Balor Elite that we may be getting. So uh, this is the complete Build-A-Figure all put together. I believe it's four figures. And uh, here we have them put together. It looks like we're getting a rehashed head scan, the ponytail head scan, but it does have a beard on it. You know, we've seen this head scan with the Walgreens exclusive Shawn Michaels. We've seen this with the WrestleMania 12 Shawn Michaels and possibly another figure, but um, they did add a beard to it. So it's a little bit different, but um, pretty cool that we're going to be getting this general manager Shawn Michaels with the cowboy hat. Next up, we have one of those Build-A-Figures that completes Shawn Michaels. We have this Harley Race in his purple attire right here. Guys, first time in the line for Harley Race. I feel like uh, they have waited a long time to give us this figure, a true legend to the business. And uh, we're going to be getting his cape, his crown, and it's going to be a pretty cool figure to see. I'll definitely be grabbing this. You know, uh, it's going to be very interesting to build up that Shawn Michaels with the different figures. A lot of the figures to build him are flashback. I believe all four of them actually are, so it's going to be cool. It's a new flashback series to Walmart, and uh, we've seen this one before. Next up, we do have Ricky the Dragon Steamboat in his all-white attire looking so freaking fresh, guys. Look at that white jacket. If you had, like, a different superstar that had the initials RS, then it would be really cool to uh, switch that on there. But anyways, this Ricky the Dragon Steamboat is sick. We've seen this head scan before. He is looking so good in that all-white attire. I'm down for it. And we get a black strap old Intercontinental title, which uh, we haven't had many of. So it's going to be cool to pick up another one of those. And you got to get this if you want to complete your uh, Build-A-Figure Shawn Michaels. Next up, we have some interesting news right here, guys. It is the Elite Four and Amazon. Amazon posted this on their website, WWE Elite Four figure. And it's by WWE, which is very weird because uh, I remember commenting on this a while back. They said that we were going to be getting a, a re-release of the John Morrison Elite. But that literally makes zero sense. But also at the same time, Tommy, Tommy Slav got a picture of of the John Morrison from his uh, buddies over in China that actually help him out and send him the images of upcoming figures and they got the John Morrison in so it's weird that Amazon posted the information about the John Morrison and then Tommy Slav got the John Morrison in hand you know a picture of so the timing is relatively perfect so I don't know why they're really releasing John Morrison do they, I don't know if John Morrison is still signed under a, you know a contract to get figures made so it's really, really odd. I don't understand the situation, but I'm a big fan of John Morrison, and if we're getting a re-release of that figure, I'm going to buy like 30 of them so I can do different attires. If they re-release this figure, it's going to be massive because this is one of the most sought-after figures ever. I believe you can get this thing for like 35 40 shipped on eBay, so it's actually a really rare figure. If you have this figure, definitely hold on to it, and hopefully we get a re-release, guys. That would be incredible. But that pretty much does it for all the news and images I have for you guys today. Hope you guys did enjoy these images. Let me know down below what you think of all of the new figures that we're getting. What do you think about the John Morrison situation? Isn't that a little bit weird? I don't know. Kind of odd. Anyways, guys, subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Go watch my video from earlier this morning talking about my fantasy attire elite figure collection. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.